If this wasn't so annoying, it'd actually be really funny. Hamilton is basically holding up the whole pack like a safety car. I mean, he's even driving slower than a safety car. Look, everyone stopped on track. Everybody... <laughs> Look at this. What is this madness? What is this? Through, through the barrier, clipping, this is... This is gameplay gold, this is. Yo guys, we're back again with another F1 Manager 22 episode, and we've just come off the back of an absolutely outstanding session at Spain. We finished second and third somehow in what was a pretty crazy race. Verstappen went out, Leclerc crashed into him. We had drivers all over the place, Sainz won it. Danny Rick came second and Lando came third in a race that they saw two safety cars. Yeah, crazy race, crazy, crazy race. But we're back again and we've got Monaco up next. So if there's ever a mood killer, Monaco is that mood killer for me. But before we jump into there, I just want to do a few things. I want to, I was always intending to change the engine out for Monaco. So we've got a slightly worn engine, which did the first few races of the season. And then this is our second engine, which we had in the last couple of races. So I'm going to change that out, put the, the sort of worn engine back in because it's Monaco. It's not an engine dependent circuit. And gearbox wise, I'm going to put the original gearbox back in as I'd like to become critical if used on the car. I'm sure, yes. I'm going to put the original gearbox back in on both cars for the practice sessions and then in practice three I'll replace that gearbox with the newer one just so we're not wearing, we're not running the race with this old gearbox essentially. So we're doing that, we've got a few things to pick up on from last time which we didn't look at, so the wind tunnel has been completed. So our wind tunnel is now level three which is good, so that will help us going forwards. We've got a new underfloor manufactured. So that's just some spare parts essentially. And then we've got the race overview from last race. So that's just saying that Leclerc is leading the championship, Max just behind him. And we've also got exceeding expectations from the board. So remember the board was really disappointed with us the first three races of the season. We finished out of the points for the first couple of races I think. Failed to finish with Lando in the first race, so they were disappointed and now their confidence in us as a leader has grown quite a bit. So I'm happy with that. Board confidence, medium, race performance, happy, satisfied on the goals, the objectives and the finances. Upgrade of the weather centre complete, that's good. And we've completed the design on our new chassis, so what I wanted to check was can I get a new chassis built for Monaco. Eight days and 16. If there's anything else, I probably could, but a chassis is pretty huge. I mean, I could spend 600 grand for an emergency chassis, but that's not worth it at all. I'm gonna get two made up and I'm gonna rush them because it's only 75 grand to rush. So then come the next race, 10 days time we will have a new chassis on both car yeah so confirm the new chassis two new chassis being developed and we have a rear wing being kind of researched not researched but uh, developed designed that's the word I'm looking for so what else have we got going on race preview from Monaco chassis design complete yeah we know weather center upgrade should give us so I give us 70% instead of 60% on our weather forecast accuracy. And with that in mind, let's have a look at our race prep to see if we're going to have any rain. And we are on the Saturday. So for qualifying potentially, we're going to have rain. And then it's going to be sunny for the race. So that could mix things up. Depending whether we get a good quality or not could really affect how our race comes. So I'm going to do reach Q2, I'm not going to do any guarantee because who knows what happens in qualifying when it's raining. It's going to leave all of that as it is. But what we do have, we have a development point for Daniel Ricciardo after his amazing performance last race. So what do we want to do? So I'm going, I'm surprised his braking is only 82. Danny Rick is king of the late breakers. Let's Increases braking even more, shall we? 
and Lando doesn't have any development points. So with that in mind, let's go to the next race over in Monaco. Now, a rainy race, a rainy qualifying. Cars have been racing through Monaco streets since 1920. Rain at Monaco. That is a scary thought. Heavy rain as well. But it's going to be clear for the race. I was kind of hoping it'd be heavy rain for the race. That'd just be, just be kind of crazy. Be a bit fun, you know. Now it'll be interesting to see how many, if we get any safety cars at all, because there's normally quite a lot of drivers locking up, going wide, and having that really weird, kind of stopping just off the track, mechanic. So. Around here, you can't really do that. If a driver locks up or runs wide or misses a corner, they're going to end up in the wall. So it'd be interesting how the AI work around here. I'm quite intrigued. How's the balance? How's the balance? Is everything okay with the car? It doesn't feel right. <laughs> so we've got a bad set of confidence for both guys. I'm going to bring both guys in. I'm not even going to mess around. I want to focus on setup here rather than focusing on track acclimatization because we always get track acclimatization pretty pretty spot on okay so we finished that session 15th 16th kind of where we normally finish the first session i'm not worried about that at all again hard tires not pushing worn engine parts now i need to remember in practice three to change the engine back over and the gearbox as well. Otherwise, we're going to be in for a horrible race. That was pretty good. Brilliant. Call Lando in. You can see what's going on, how this is affecting our track climatization. It's only 30 odd percent. Whereas I think after practice one out in Spain, where we did long runs, the track climatization was up at over 50% after the first practice. We're eighty five percent confidence with Danny Rick, that's pretty good. I'm happy. Okay, understood. So we've got great confidence with Lando. And again, great with Danny Rick, eighty three percent. So we're not quite getting close to that ninety five percent we need. And I've just missed a pit lane with Danny Rick, that's annoying. So again we finished that session fifteenth, sixteenth. Not worried about that. And now we're into the Saturday where we have rain, heavy rain forecast. So it'll be interesting to see if that heavy rain comes. It'll be interesting to see if that heavy rain comes in um, quality or practice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change out the gearbox now just so I don't forget to change out the gearbox. I'm gonna leave the engine and the ERS in, aren't I? That's the plan for this race. So what have we got weather-wise? We've got, we're in practice three, dry the whole practice session. So that means rain is coming it's during the, the race, check. during the qualifying. So that'll be a fun qualifying session. Hopefully that helps out because our setup's not been great so far. So hopefully the, a mixed up quality could help us out. Okay, so we jumped up to 93% set of confidence with Lando. That's okay, good. Especially as I was really struggling with Lando's setup. Our track plantization is only 69%. So I'm going to leave him out this whole time and then bring him in and do one more run. And we got great with 96 with Danny Rick. So Danny Rick, we have succeeded to get our full setup confidence driver bonuses. So Danny Rick can stay out now for the whole time. I'm going to keep Lando out as well. Oh, that's good. I was really, really nervous with those setups. Really struggling to find the right one. So you can see that's the difference. We, we kind of played this practice session differently to previous practice sessions, where normally we'd leave them out, do two long runs each practice session, get a total of six runs in. But we've had, we kind of mixed it up a little bit, focusing on the setup more, which has meant our track acclimatization is actually lower than it should be. This time, last time out in Spain, we had 100% track acclimatization. But now we're doing two runs for track acclimatization more so than set up. Competitor crash, who have we had? Who's binned it? Can't see who's stopped on the track map. Everyone looks like they're moving. 
Charles Leclerc. Wow. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Heading towards the tunnel and ooh. oh what a nasty crash there. Rear suspension, that would have been. Rear suspension, maybe gearbox if this was a real race with a crash like that. Brilliant. After all of that, we finally, with three minutes to go in the practice sessions, we get 96% with Lando and both drivers. That was slightly harder than normal. Where do we end up? Still 15th, 16th. Like I say, not pushing at all. I'm not too worried by that. We've... How far off the pace are we? Two seconds off the pace. Yikes. So, Danny Rick, 15 out of 15 percent on his percent. 15 out of 15 on his performance bonus, and Lando didn't quite get 15 because he didn't get his track acclimatization up to 100. So his average was lower. So, okay. Now we've got heavy rain going into this session. Moderate rain, 2.5 millimeters of rain. So that's straight into intermediate territory. So let's just... We let's just pause this and we'll see what we've got to play with. So heavy rain to start with, then it's gonna clear up and then we've got light rain to finish. So I'm not even gonna come out of the pit until halfway through this session. I wonder what everyone else would do. So now it's full wet conditions. A lot of the guys on, everyone's on inters. A couple of guys in the pits have changed to wet tires. Hoping we've played this okay, and it should start to. So the rainfall is starting to f come down, but I might have not played a very good session here because the rainfall at the start was only 30, or well, it was only three millimeters. Essentially, I should have come out and put in a lap straight away. Could be in a little bit of trouble here. It's just how do I want to play this? One plan. I might just have to go three, three flying laps. And then maybe just send them out. So you've got a minute and a half for an out lap. Then you've got a flyer. And then you've got a cool down, then another flyer. So maybe five minutes to spare if I send them out. Send out Danny Rick. Will that work? Does that bring it down to two minutes to go? One flyer, a cool down, and a flyer. Yeah, so I think that's going to work. So across the line with about two minutes to go. And then he'll do one minute 30. I'll do a 120 fast lap. So he'll cross the line again with about 30, 40 seconds to spare. Then he'll do a slow down. Oh no, it's not going to work. He'll do a slow down lap. He's going to get caught on his slow down lap here. Oh right, boys, I have done the maths completely wrong there. He's only going to get a chance of one flying lap here, and we fueled him for two flying laps. So we could be in a little bit of bother. We should have come out straight away. Should have been the first car on the track. That's a lesson learned here. Like me, I don't want to be starting last at Monaco. I do not want to be starting. If there's anywhere you don't want to start last, it's Monaco. And we get to catch all this traffic. Oh boys, this has gone very badly. This is their one and only flying run here. And they're both just stuck in traffic completely. Are they even on the right tire? They're on the wrong tire. Should have been on wet tires. Oh boys, we've played this terribly. Terribly, terribly. I didn't even think about the tires. Didn't even think about the tyres, yeah, wet tyres. We're out. We're going to be starting 19th and 20th here. I have messed this up big time. I have messed this up. 18th and 19th, 18th and 20th. Okay, Lando, that is the end of the session. 20 seconds off the pace. Oh, boys, this is going to be a horrible race. 19th and 20th we're starting. That couldn't have gone any worse. I couldn't have gone any worse at all. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Race day has arrived and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. Well this is going to be a um, a horrible race. A horrible, horrible race. 
Oh, it's dry as well in Q2. You know what I will do though? I'm going to take... Oh, a new part's going to cost a million. I was going to say, I'll take a new engine. Because if there's anywhere to have a grid penalty... Oh, I can't, because we've got an unused engine. Oh no, I was going to take some grid penalties, but I can't. It won't even let me. It won't even let me take grid penalties because we're too early in the season. We've got unused parts. Ah, oh, crikey. Okay. Well, this is going to be a horrible race. Okay, let's get through this. Let's do this. What do we want to do? Run a soft hard stint, maybe? Kind of get out of traffic early. Run softs. Pit early out of traffic. You know what? I might do, I might do that with Danny Rick. Do a soft hard stint with Danny Rick. Pitting early. And then for Lando, what if I stick him on a three-stopper? What if I do that? You know, we've got nothing to lose with Lando. We just hope for a safety car, you know? What if we do soft, soft, medium? So pit relatively early. What's that? It's 12 seconds slower. It gets us out of traffic. Soft, soft, hard, soft, soft, medium. Do soft, soft, medium. We can do that. Just run hard. Full attack to start with. And then we can go full attack. Middle stint. Do we do that with Lando? Okay, this is going to test us a little bit. This is going to... Then with Danny Rick, we'll do the same. We'll stop. We're not going to do a two-stop. We'll stop early, though. And just conserve tyres for the rest of the race maybe stop early push hard on some hard tyres and just hope we can jump some guys in the pit stops so Lando you go pit in lap 21 Danny Rick on lap 19 <laughs> Danny Rick's going one stop Lando's going two stop so we're starting 18th actually so what someone got a penalty somewhere because I'm pretty sure we were we were definitely dead last Let's do this. This could either be the most boring race ever or the most exciting. As the drivers line up on the grid. Take a, a wild at guess. Daniel Ricciardo. Okay, Daniel Ricciardo. What, Slower what are we than at? most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the Yeah. It's time Don't rub it in for one of the most exciting races in the world. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Here we go. Let's make some places off the start grid. So Verstappen is going right back. What is going on here? The the brilliant AI of F1 Manager 22 once again Vettel just stopped in the middle of the road. Norris is a million miles away from anybody. So Danny Rick, let's see if he can pull some overtakes. If he can get past up to 13th here that would be not too shabby. So we want to get up to ahead of Vettel is our goal. I'm not hopeful. I'm really not hopeful. And we got zero to five percent chance of rain. Okay, right now's your chance to overtake Albon, Danny Rick. This is the best overtaking spot on the track and straight. Oh. Okay, we'll pretend we didn't see that. That massive clipping through the. Bridge. Through the chicane. Good job, good job. That was terrible. We've got Lando now stuck behind Verstappen. So do I? Gain a position. I kind of want to see it. I want to see it again. See how badly he clipped through there. Watch this. Oh, the shirt from the angle you can't see. <laughs> he went straight through that orange barrier. He's going to have a go. He's not going to have a go. We're not going to get nice overtaking Verstappen. And Danny Rick's past Stroll as well. So Danny Rick is making progress. Got one more guy in said vessel to overtake. Here's the replay. Daniel Ricardo into the first corner. Here. So that's two positions on the first lap, along with all the positions he gained off of the grid, off the start line as well. So Danny Rick's up to 14th. Not terrible. Lando Norris, on the other hand, is completely and utterly stuck behind Verstappen. Who is 
in turn start behind Magnussen and a couple of Williams. So I want to keep Danny Rick on the attack, but he's running out of the RS. We'll give him one last go down the through the tunnel and into the bus stop chicane. If he doesn't do it there, we're going to have to turn his ERS down into harvest. So we've got, how close is he? He's not even that close. It's not overly close to Vettel, three tenths down. There's no chance he's going to stick it down the inside here. No. Harvest, Danny Rick. Recharge on is good. And stand it on your fuel, as on your tyre preservation as well. Verstappen's still stuck behind the TV. That's crazy. Is Danny Rick going for a move? No, he's not. He's not going for a move. He's not going to do it. Oh, Danny Rick. Maybe down into the first corner. Can you get a first corner overtake? Oh, here we go. He's alongside and he's passed. There we go. Harvest. Standard aggression. Ah, Verstappen's making progress. So now, Lando, who's got plus 10 laps of fuel. I don't think that's quite right. Lando can now start attacking Latifi. Because Verstappen is passed. And Norris is passed as well. There we go. Position. Bring you a great, uh, might as well watch it. I don't think we're going to get too many overtakes in this race. We're looking at Lando Norris. Exactly the same as Danny Rick down into the first corner. Easy peasy on Nicholas Latifi. So Danny Rick isn't really closing in on Mick Schumacher too much. That's kind of worrying. Nice overtake Albon. Let's Good. see what happened there. Now just take a look at the, the same again, first corner. That seems to be where all the overtakes are gonna happen. Down that pit straight, okay. okay. Norris again is now closed up to the back of Verstappen. Hopefully Verstappen will get past Magsin pretty quickly. Magsin doesn't have DRS. Got okay, a little crash on track. Hopefully safety car. Because now will be a good time for me to start boxing, potentially. It's not saying safety car. It's Alex Albon as well who's behind us. That's now, not great. See the Williams here. So you're going to do it's going to be a slow speed. Oh, yeah. Just like Charles Leclerc did in was practice. That was a big crash. Ah, no safety car. So we need Danny Rick now to really get past Mick Schumacher and Yuki Tsunoda because that's the bottleneck here. Seven seconds to Guan Yu Zhou. It's going to be tricky because Mick Schumacher's going to have DRS as well. So Danny Rick's going to struggle, I think. So we've entered the pit window for Danny Rick. The question is, when do I box him? Ideally, I want to undercut here. Lando's having an awful race. Lando, if Lando okay. one stops, he's in a world of pain. What I need him to do, what I need Lando to do is undercut now, absolutely fly and jump these guys. So that's what I'm going to do with Lando. So Lando's in for okay. his second Understood. set of softs. And just remind you, use the pit limiter in the pit lane. I kind of want to do the same for Danny Rick as well, to be honest. I might even box Danny Rick early, because if he's one stop in, he's going to struggle to beat these guys as well. Danny Rick would drop in behind Verstappen. He'd have a few good laps of attack. Probably be able to jump Yuki in the pits. But then he'd have to make another stop again. There's no way he's going. I'm going to box Ricardo now onto hard tyres. And you know what? See if he can get to the end of the race. This is asking a lot from Daniel Ricardo. So we have to be super careful with these tyres. We want to ideally jump Yuki. So 25 seconds pit lane, 2.4 seconds stop. Not too bad. Pretty darn good. Push on fuel. And Lando. Lando is right behind Latifi now. So overtake. Push. Overtake available if needed. It's about to be lapped. Lando is about to be lapped. You need to get past Nicholas Latifi here before you get lapped. Oh no, no. Charles Leclerc is right behind Lando at just the wrong point of time. Look, Lando's had to slow right down. Oh, terrible timing that was. Okay, you could get him down to the first corner. Ah, oh, Latifi's got DRS. That's not good. 
Another lap behind Latifi. This is killing Lando's race even further. I've got Perez and Sainz coming up behind us now. What an absolute disaster. Oh, he's, he's through, he's through, he's through. Lando is with a great past Latifi. I think into turn now. one. Yeah, Watch into turn this. one. Nice switchback move. Norris. Beats him into the apex. Oh, that's tight all the way up. What is going on there? But he beats him. Brilliant. So Lando's passed. He's got, I don't even know how far he's got until Ricardo. 16 seconds to Ricardo up the road. Lando Norris has got new fastest lap of the race. That's what we want to be seeing. We want to be seeing fastest lap of the race. They should be starting to box soon. Look at the fuel numbers on these guys. These guys are going to have to do some major fuel conserve. Lando's completely off strategy now. The, the, the strategy diagram is just broken for Lando. Let's have a look Here's at that. The Let's see if he clips now through the barrier again. Look at the McLaren. Yeah, he's going to get him down the inside into the, the chicane. Nicely done. Oh, keep it too wide all the way through. We've got some guys in the pits here. Yeah, we have. So, Danny Rick's now stuck behind K-Mag and Vettel. Have, neither of them have boxed. So, I need them to box pretty soon, please, guys. Oh, we're going to be struggling here, I think. And he's going down to 10. Yeah, look, these guys, Alonso, Bottas, Gasly, all got brand new tyres on. Jumped Mick Schumacher with Danny Rick. We'll jump Vettel, Magnussen. But look, Gasly upwards. And Yuki was the next one. Yuki is, he's sort of, he's 20 seconds. Yeah, Yuki's 20 seconds up the road. So Yuki can get jumped by Ricardo, but not if he's stuck behind Vettel, he won't. This is just gone. This is terrible. It's an absolute terrible race. I mean, I knew I always hated my race, but it's my fault for messing up Quali. Absolutely made a mess of qualifying. I'm going to box Lando. He's not getting anywhere. New hard tyres. Box him this lap. Before he gets lapped by signs, hopefully. Oh, yeah, right, there he goes. He's going to get lapped by signs. Lose a ton of time. Nice in the pits. Where's he going to feed out? Hopefully in front of Stroll. Yeah, so nice. Didn't lose any positions there. Danny Rick's still completely stuck. There we go. So Danny Rick is now up into P12. Lando, go stand on your tyres just so you can make it to the end, mate. And Danny Rick's the same. I mean, this is one I could probably just do time 16 and run it to the end of the race now. Danny Rick's 14 seconds back from Gasly. He's not going to make that because he's conserving his tyres. What's everyone else doing tyre-wise? Yeah, look, everyone's absolutely fine on their tyres. Yuki still needs a box. But other than that, everyone's going to the end, apart from the Williams. So unless there's a safety car or something funky happens. He did jump K-Mag, though. No, he didn't jump here, Mag. Side by side with him. He's yeah, going to be on the outside job. line. Oh, he's going to get that. This is not too... You can't go two cars wide through there. You can go two cars through there. Oh, what is going on? Okay, K-Mag's getting past Vettel. That's good. And then hopefully we can follow him through, but it doesn't look like K-Mag is going to get past. No, he's not. And they're still stuck. McLaren, gain a position. He's battling Let's with him. See what happened there. Where was now, this? That's an unconventional place to overtake Lando. <laughs> Heading into the swimming pool. And then Magnus is going to get inside again. Gaining a position there. They make it look so it's exactly easy. where they were battling last time. Did Lando get the position is the question. Lando did get the position. K-Mag is two seconds back. I'm kind of hoping for a safety car or something to close this up. Oh, that's Sonoda ran wide as well. Oh, good. Let's have a look. And that now gave Danny Rick the this. place. The focus on Sonoda. Well, I don't oh, know that's what they were barely running there. wide. They're completely off the racing line. That's barely running wide. Just hop the curb. Danny Rick's not closing that gap at all. And Norris is past Vettel. And McLaren with a Hooray. great overtake. Let's take a closer look. Now, just take a look. Down at into McLaren. turn one. Okay. So both guys are going to have to really sort of conserve or just be balanced everywhere now. Norris has got 26 seconds to make sure you That's how long he got held up for behind Vettel. 26 seconds. Uh, Danny Ricks, he's dropping back. 10 seconds. He's going to fall into the clutches of Yuki Snowder in a minute. We've had a crash on track. Sector 2. Come on, safety car. Not going to be a safety car because otherwise it would have come out by now. 
Hamilton. Oh, why couldn't it have been an Alpine? Need an Alpine, really, to have a crash. Help us in the constructors. Oi! Lost the back end of that sideways into the wall. I don't even know if that's going to put him out, is it? He is going very, very slowly. And he's holding up Lando Norris. Brilliant. That's what we want. Oh my god, he's actually really holding up Lando. What is this? What is this AI? Look. And then Lando's going to have to jump out of the way for these lapped cars. Hamilton should just be off the racing line. They're going two miles an hour around that corner. What is... <laughs> if this wasn't so annoying, it'd actually be really funny. Hamilton is basically holding up the whole pack like a safety car. He's even driving slower than a safety car. And Lando is now still stuck behind him. Look, everyone's stopped on track. Everybody... <laughs> Look at this. What is this madness? Vettel's past Norris again. Because Norris is just following... Vettel's up the road. Hamilton... <laughs> Hamilton's just cruising round. <laughs> overtake, come on. Overtake him. Yeah, confirm. What is this? Through, through the barrier, clipping. This is... This is gameplay gold, this is. That's what this is. Come on, Lando. We've got the inside. Come on, Lando. <laughs> this is... AI to perfection. But we've lost six, 20 seconds now. We've lost 20 seconds to Seb Vettel. Although Danny Rick's now up to 12th place. Well, he was always in 12th place, but Danny Rick is behind this cute. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This is absolutely bonkers. So everybody stopped. Hamilton's in now, so the guys can go again. Danny Rick through the barrier. That was absolutely mental. Right, Danny Rick, come on. Attack, attack, push. McLaren See if you can get anybody. Danny Rick might be able to get a 10th place here from all of this. <laughs> come on, Danny inside of Pierre. Danny inside of Pierre Gasly. Oh, there's a lapped car in the way. Another car slowing us down. Yeah, Gasly just clipped right through the wall. Come on, Danny inside of whoever this is, Latifi, Albon. No. Use overtake. What is going on? Okay. What is going on? Just get out of the way, the lapped car. Okay, passed him through the tunnel. There we go. Right, you got a second to Gasly now. 1.3 to Gasly. To try and get a point out of this race. He's going to run out of tyres. He's going to run out of everything. Danny Rick. Oh, that was... That was the... Possibly the stupidest AI gameplay I've ever seen. Almost ever seen in a game ever. Especially in a racing game. No one willing to overtake. Come on, Danny Rick. The problem is, Gazzy's got... He, he's got DRS from I don't know who's in front of him I think that's another Red Bull I think it might be Perez directly in front of Gasly oh we've got another slow car we've got another what is that K-Mag being lapped that's K-Mag yeah let's Gasly through and then we're going to get stuck behind him again is that right we're going to get stuck behind K-Mag for the whole lap yes we are this is laughable I mean, I shouldn't even be in this position anyway from the qualifying. It's my own fault. It's completely my own fault. Lando's going to make us in. But Lando's lost 27 seconds. 27 seconds he lost to Vettel from being stuck behind Hamilton. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Russell's 27 back from Alonso, who's 38 back from Sainz. Wow, so we had a good result last race, but now the Alpines, 4th and 6th, and Alfa Romeo's 7th and 8th. So they're probably going to jump us again in the Constructors. We've gone from having a fantastic result to easily one of our worst races, worst race weekends.
so I need to look after Vettel's had a crash. We can take a look now. I mean, so I like Seb Vettel as a driver, Martin. but after this race, I'm glad to see him crashing into a wall in this. <laughs> he lost and the rear end. We see the crash. Oh, Christy. And even after that, Vettel managed to get round to the pits, have a pit stop, and still finish in front of Lando because of what happened. What a absolute cluster f of a race. That was a mess. From, from qualifying through to the race, that was an absolute disaster, and I'm so glad that's over. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everyone watching that. <laughs> they had to watch it. I don't know why you're clapping, boys. You don't don't deserve to be clapping. I mean, both both guys gained four positions, but that was it. <laughs> that was awful. Lando dropped back behind Bottas in the drivers' championship. What way back from Fernando now? Fernando's running away a little bit, and we dropped behind Alpine in the constructors by one point. So we go from absolute glory in Spain to. Shambles at Monaco. Absolute shambles. Disappointing, disappointing. Knocked out in Q1 through a mistake of my own. It could have been a completely different race if it wasn't for, for that. What we got? They're going to... I don't want to read the emails. They're going to absolutely destroy me. I mean, disappointing. Difficult race. Disappointed in our performance. Lose some confidence in my leadership. You should. It's Bahrain and Lando running out of fuel all over again. Right, continue. We got... Our race simulator upgrade, so that will help with driver performances and driver bonuses. Got our chassis, new chassis, so we can jump onto Lando Norris's car, give him the new chassis installed on car two. So that's good. We'll get should get another one before the race before Baku. I might I might stick a little standard scout on Alex Albon because he's probably the guy who's currently in F1 who I would like to have the most in my car uh, there's no other drivers really Pierre Gasly potentially maybe I'll do Pierre and Alex two former Toro Rosso and Red Bull drivers see what they're like but there we go guys I'm gonna I'm gonna end that there with a very disappointing Monaco I'll be back very soon with a Baku race to see if we can right the wrongs of Monaco. Let me know in the comments below whether you're enjoying this series or not. Uh, give me some tips. Tell me where I'm going wrong. I know qualifying was absolutely terrible. I should have paid attention to the weather. That was completely my fault. But until next time, guys, hit that like button and I'll see you on track.